Father, Mother, God, we ask you this time to bring the highest information in for all of our soul growth. As always, Father, surround us with your love, light, healing, wisdom, and truth. We call forth the energy of Mary Magdalene and our beloved Jeshua as they step forward in divine sacred union, anchoring this energy here on the earth and into, into our own individual beings. And in this we thank thee, and so it is. Greetings, dear one. Yes, it is I, Mary Magdalene. Jeshua is here as well. We say thank you, dearest children of the light, for awakening to the beautiful energy of divine sacred union. It is of great, great importance that each soul return to balance and awaken to the energy of sacred union within their own individual being within their own individual essence selves to begin to awaken this frequency within their own soul simply to return to love. It is of the love and the light from the great creator that Jeshua and I hold this frequency of divine sacred union for this planet and all of life to return to divine sacred balance. It is why we came to this earth plane over 2,000 years ago. It was that which we brought forth onto the earth, anchored the frequency of harmony and balance, divine love and divine grace onto the earth. As if we were truly seeding this energy for the earth and all inhabitants to return to love. It is why the energy of my beloved Jeshua, his beautiful frequency of cosmic love and cosmic grace has filled the hearts of so many upon the earth. For he holds the powerful divine union of that powerful frequency of divine love and holy grace, the cosmic love of the cosmic Christ. And so today we ask you to begin to receive this frequency of divine, holy, sacred union and the energy of my beloved Jeshua's frequency of cosmic love and cosmic grace within your being. Simply take a deep inhaling breath and begin to draw into your body the essence of the light of God that is held within your frequency. At the inception of your incarnation, at the very time of your birth, as you took your first breath, you were breathing in the essence, in the presence of the God essence. So I ask you now to take a deep inhaling breath and begin to breathe in this frequency of the God essence, of the I am presence within your physicality, within all aspects of your being, and simply breathe. Breathing in the cosmic grace and cosmic love of the divine, holy, sacred union of the essence of Father, Mother, God. And so we ask you, dearest children of light, to begin to pre prepare yourself so that you can now begin to expand in consciousness and allow yourself to return to balance to be the way showers, the messengers, and the bearers of light who are holding this sacred balance within your being. It is why Joshua and I brought forth our book, Divine Union. It was our primary mission 2,000 years ago. It is our primary mission now. And the world is ready to receive this. The world is ready to return to balance. The world is ready to feel the joy, the cosmic love and grace once again. And as you know, the separation that has been held with the human consciousness 
from the time of the great separation has caused much chaos and fear. And yet now, there are so many beings of light who are ready to unify. And we thank you for awakening to the cosmic grace and love of the great I Am Presence and of my Jeshua's energy. For it is time, it is time, it is time for the union within the soul to be reunited with your beautiful spirit essence. It is time that the soul, the personality, reunite with the spirit essence. And so today, dearest children of light, begin to breathe in this energy of sacred union, divine balance and holy grace, feeling the presence of God's love and light within your being, feeling the energy of God's holy grace within your being. And so now, dearest children of the light, I ask you to breathe and invoke the beautiful energy of the resurrected flame once again so that you can begin to resurrect the energy of sacred, divine, holy balance, the sacred union within your being. Beginning to feel a peace come over you, a sense of tranquility and harmony, that truly all is in order and all is as it should be that regardless of what appears to be, you remain centered and balanced within your own spirit essence, within your own soul, and within your own personality. As you call in this frequency of divine union, all of your essence selves shall return to balance. Yes, dearest children, what I am saying is that all aspects that you've ever been that is now within you, the record of your own Akashic records are able to return to balance. That you are simply aligning yourself with your oversoul into your conscious state of being. and you are aligned to the I Am Presence. And so I say to you, dear children, breathe. Breathe in the light of God. Breathe in this powerful frequency of peace and tranquility upon your soul. Simply breathe, growing more beautiful and radiant with each breath and allowing the beautiful light of your I am presence and the energy of your oversoul to be at peace. And so, dear sons and daughters of the light, prepare yourself. Lillian has left the conference. To be at peace. Feel the energy and the essence of the love. Feel the energy and the essence of the love. once again I ask you to call in the beautiful energy of the resurrected flame simply begin to breathe in this frequency as you restore yourself to divine holy sacred balance and union it is truly the energy in which you were created it is the energy of your beautiful spirit essence harmony balance tranquility peace grace, holiness. Can you feel this energy even if it is momentar momentarily present within your conscious field? Can you feel this exquisite nature of the love that you are, of the peace that you are, of the tranquility that you are? letting go of the concerns of the earthly life. 
and allowing the energy of divine balance to be the calling card, to be the energy of what you call your signature vibration, divine, holy, sacred union. I am at one with myself. I am at peace with myself. I have come home again. I have united the energy of the flame of Mother God with the flame of Father God. Divine Mother, Divine Father, the aspects of the God essence that is held within each soul with every spirit, the God aspect is now returned into sacred union. Can you feel the silence in this moment? As you return with your breath to the silence of merging into your oversoul, into the still, quiet moment of your I am presence. The stillness, feeling the energy of divine union. Allowing your physical body to return to this holy, sacred state. As it now begins to allow your body to begin to heal and to be rejuvenated and to be restored to balance. Any aspect of your physical body, your mental body, your emotional body, your energetic frequency that is not of balance is now returning to sacred balance. Anything that is not in harmony within your own personal life your relationships, your finances, your surroundings, your environment that is not of balance. You as an energetic being will begin to draw to you balance. So you, dearest children, can change not only your physical health, you can change the energy around you. You are able to change the environmental frequencies that are not in balance. Literally, you are able to call upon the resurrection flame, the use of the electrons that we have spoken of, and begin to use this energy to harmonize your surroundings, your environment, the earth, your physical, physical body. All energies that are disharmonic, you are literally able to bring into divine, holy, sacred balance. This is truth. This may seem implausible, but if you are in touch and attuned and aligned to the sacred union within yourself, to the energy of Father, Mother, God. You have the power to manifest. You have the power to create. You have the power to heal. You have the power to restore. And so, dear ones, can you allow yourself to breathe in this energy? Are you able to place your attention upon your I am presence? And allow this energy to be recharged within you. And allow this frequency of divine love to enter into your being. Allowing your heart now to begin to open and begin to feel the presence of the energy of all that is. 
And so as you feel this energy and presence within your soul, you begin to awaken to the power that you hold. For you are the energy and the essence of Father Mother God. You are in sacred balance with the energy of the energy of Father Mother God. It is that which runs through your veins. Balance. The energy of Mother God, Father God. It is why, dearest children, you have what is called a right brain and a left brain, holding the energy of Mother Energy, Father Energy. It is why you have two arms, two eyes, two legs. That you remain in balance. Perhaps you have never thought of this before, dearest children. But just as you have physically have two eyes, two ears, two arms, two legs, you literally are holding and carrying sacred balance by your birthright. Have you forgotten your true nature to the I Am Presence? That you were a god and a goddess, a powerful creator, manifester? This is why Joshua and I came. As I represent the energy of the mother energy, Joshua, the energy of the father energy, masculine energy, but the two of us we're in need of balancing our own frequencies in order to come together in our sacred union, our mission. We had our own individual mission and we collectively had our mission. It is the story of our love story that brought us together, but it is the greater picture of how we went through our earthly challenges to master ourselves to reunite in sacred union with ourselves and then we could come together and collectively we are the template of the energy of sacred union. We are the twin flame essence of this energy. And as you seek this balance within yourself and as you find the energy of the twin flame essence in your physical form, you will come together to bring forth your collective mission on the earth. But despite of not finding your twin flame essence, you still have an individual mission, your own pathway, divine sacred union with yourself. So do not become discouraged or do not focus, as they say, on the twin flame reunion. Focus on the twin flame reunion within yourself. And then if it is to be, you will find your physical twin flame. But it is the twin flame reunification within yourself. That is what we speak of in our book. It is that which is to be brought forth onto humanity. And so now this energy is being infused through the grid lines and the grid ley lines upon the earth. It is why we had asked Lee to write our book, to send it out to the world, that the energy that was held within the essence of that book is the divine union energy, the sacred balance energy that was brought forth through the portal of Mount Shasta, the beautiful mountain that holds the sacred union and balance for all the world to see and all the world to know. We've used the book as a portal to awaken people, to 
return to sacred balance and the power of the mountain and the spirit of the mountain. is activated within the energy of our book. And so, dearest ones, as you feel this energy within your heart, that it is your time to awaken to the truth of who you are, to the essence of your being, We bow unto you for receiving this and acknowledging it and welcoming our frequency within your heart. And so today, as you call forth the energy As you are willing to be filled with the love of God, to be filled with the energy of divine grace, opening your heart to this eternal flame of love. This is the energy of the sacred union. It is the energy of Father, Mother, God. As you breathe this energy of the divine flame of divine love to enter into your being. Can you feel the strength of this in this moment? Can you feel the peace that is radiating through your soul? You've come home to yourself again. You have come home to yourself again. That you are renewed in the embrace of the eternal love flame that you are renewed in the flame of cosmic love and cosmic grace. I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. I am eternal peace and I am eternal love. And so, dear ones, you feel your heart opening to divine grace as you feel yourself now beginning to emerge into sacred union your body will begin to respond you shall be returned to the greatness and the grandness and the magnificence of who you truly are So begin to feel this within every cell, every fiber, every pore of your being and allow the energy of the resurrected flame with the beautiful electrons that are held within your body to begin to spin and to purify any disharmonic frequencies that are not of love and peace. So that your body, your energy field is in union, sacred union with yourself. It is how my Jeshua brought forth his teachings, his healings, and his miraculous ascension into his resurrected self, into Christ consciousness. He used the power of divine love in the electrons of his body to restore himself into perfect union with the divine. This is the ascension process, dearest one. This is lifting the veil. This is the energy that you seek. Lifting the veil from your limited eyes, from your li limited consciousness, from your limited beliefs. This is the ascension you seek. Returning to divine, holy, sacred union with yourself. 
This, my children, is the key to that which you seek, the kingdom of heaven. It's the energy of divine sacred union within yourself, within your own conscious mind. As you live and embody the brilliance of your being here on this earth. And so, dear ones, hold this frequency with the purest of intention, with the purest of love, with the purest heart that you feel for yourself. I honor me. I love me. I embrace my magnificence. I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. And I am more powerful than I understand and more powerful than I recognize my energy to be. And so I say to you, dearest ones, feel the love, feel the peace, and feel the joy as you return to divine, holy, sacred union. And so, dear ones, as you long to be filled with the love of God and open your heart to this presence, you shall return to the balance in which you so seek. And so, dear sons and daughters of the light, Joshua and I stand with you as we infuse upon you this beautiful sacred flame of divine union and holy grace. Fill your heart now with this and return to love. Fill your heart with this and return to love. Fill your heart with this and return to love. For divine cosmic love knows no back barriers. And so we send forth the beautiful pink ray of light to unfold you and the planet. When you allow the consciousness of divine love and the pink ray to assist you, you become a magnet for love and you radiate this love to all those around you. And so as you allow your consciousness to unfold to the energy of divine love, bring forth the gratitude of the I am presence that lives inside of you. And I call this energy into your physicality. I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. So allow yourself now, dearest children, to return your energy and your focus now into your conscious awareness. As your electrons are spinning, And every cell, every fiber, every pore of your being is filled with cosmic love and grace. And now as you allow this frequency to return back into your heart, may you now open your eyes and feel this energy of peace and tranquility upon your soul. For truly, dearest ones, all is in order and all is as it should be. You are divine by nature, and so shall you remain in the sacred state of divine union and balance for all the world to see and all the world to know. 
Go now, my children, and be at peace. As Joshua and I stand with you, holding a space of love for you to receive. We thank you, Mary, and we thank you, Joshua. We thank the great I Am Presence. As always, we send our love and our healing to Mother Earth and to all of humanity that we return to divine sacred union and that there be peace, love, harmony upon our beloved planet and for all souls. In this we thank thee, and so it is.